First you draw a circle, and then you dot the eyes. Add a great big smile, and presto, it's Kirby! Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome to my 7th Let's Play, consisting of Kirby's Adventure for the NES. This is one that I figured uh, I'd go through really easily, uh, just something a little different for once, rather than one that takes a little while like my last couple have. And uh, go back to the NES for one little round uh, for something other than uh, Dragonware, which is the only other game I would have considered, but I wanted to do something different. Uh, since I've been doing a lot of role-playing games lately as well. So, just take this opportunity and, uh... Let him do his thing through this demo, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this game started in what is a game that sh I should go through this one with relative ease, to be completely honest. But, uh, other than that, uh... Yeah, hopefully this one will work out well. In all honesty. Of course, just a lot of other special abilities that happen. There's many that appear over this game. And uh, if I remember it right, this is actually the first Kirby game that I played that was in its platformer format. Because prior to that, it was all the bonus games. I think my first actual Kirby game was Pin mm, excuse me, Pinball Land, which uh, made me rage my ass off. I am not playing through that sucker again. But, uh, backdrops funny as can be. This is neat. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, what Kirby does. And all that cool stuff. And then there's the main story, which is, uh, One day, the peaceful life of Dreamland was shattered by a mysterious crisis. The inhabitants didn't dream. On the edge of dreamland, dreams and hope once gushed forth from the dream spring, fueled by the star rod. God, why does that sound familiar? Investigating the dream spring, Kirby found the naughty king DDD swimming in its magical waters. He had broken the scar the star rod and given the pieces to his friends who are now hiding in dreamland. Wow. Seriously? To bring back the lost dreams, Kirby sought the star rod. Yep, we gotta get it all together. And with that, that should be it. Yep, here we go. So we'll go ahead and press start. And you got three files in this one, which is actually why I'm able to do this uh, Let's Play. It's mainly because I can at least save the game if I need to, and uh, come back another day. Go ahead and start. And we start with level one at Vegetable Valley. Since this is a pilot episode, we're only going to cover the first two areas of this level, and then we'll just progress our way through from there. Crash on the star, and, uh, yeah, there's just, uh, lots of walls and whatnot. You have only a single door to go through. Well, let's go in. Alright, here we go. We got, uh, quite a bit to do here. Let's go ahead and swallow a bunch of these guys. Just try to get used to feeling and whatnot, and uh, that's about it. So yeah, this first level is actually really easy. There's not a whole lot that really goes on, and you can get through this area with very relative ease. Oops, I could not uh, react in time. Can just do that. Just run through these things with relative ease all the way around. I don't really want to use fire, honestly, so I'm not going to be doing that. Although I will, I will claim you for spark for now. And then we'll just kind of breeze our way through this area. Screw that poppy. Just blow through a couple of these guys, and uh, that's about it. There we go. And right there is a maximum tomato, which I'll just take and be done with it. Even though it wasn't totally necessary. I'll go ahead and drop that for now, and, uh, swallow you. And that's actually it for the entire level. Yeah, that level is very, very easy. Click that, that four is not bad. 
And right there, that's the first one, just completely out of the picture. And with that, we have a nice little mini game before we enter the second one. In which case, we have Crane Fever. Use the buttons to move the crane and try to get a Kirby. Big one's hard to get, but worth it. The small Kirby is an extra life, the big Kirby is two lives. You have only two chances at this, and I'm just going to go straight for this one. Pure skill! Let's go straight through here. Likewise, nothing but pure skill. And for that, I get myself four extra lives. Cool stuff. Nice way to start things off here. Anyway, we'll move on to number two. And uh, just kind of keep flying through. We can move these blocks and get rid of these guys with the relative ease because they just fly up. Kind of dodge that because it's not the oh cutter. Cutter would actually be a really good uh, ability to have here. We'll do that. There's the warp star. There's nothing else in the area. So just take it. We go flying into this little place. Oh, missed that guy entirely. Well, at least I did that. In which case we have the poppy, which I'm just going to oh shoot do that, and just use the cutter and just blast away at it. And I'm just going to completely nuke him because I don't really want to use his power either. Other than that, you just kind of run through everything with ease and- Oh shoot, I did it again! And I lost it. Oh well. I'll just go ahead and move on. Oh wait, there's a maximum tomato there. Let's go ahead and just grab that. Get rid of you. Oh crap. I needed that spark, actually. To get that maximum tomato. So I'll just go ahead and, uh, go back here. Like that, and there is our full health. Oops. And there's our last, uh, there's our door, and a sword. I want the sword, because Sword Kirby is awesome. And with that, that's the end of 1-2, which, uh, isn't terrible. I started ending with the 2 there. Hit that, and, uh, there we go. Alright, so that takes care of the first two areas, as well as a crane minigame. A little rough on the edges for my pilot, but, uh, I think we'll be okay, though. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and close things here, and we'll continue to 1-3 next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.